Now normally I don't like trees, but I love what you've done here. The use of lines, the negative space, the positive space. I mean, the whole composition, it's, it's truly well done. Thanks. And you know, we all are trees, right? We're all rooted in the ground and we expand out throughout life and branch out. Hmm. I see what you did there. Very, very good. Let's see the next one. I'm excited. Did you hear that? Hear what? That gasp. Did you hear Arturo gasp? No. I didn't gasp. Yes, you did. That is the sound, ladies and gentlemen, that you hear when you know you've taken a particularly good photograph. Seriously, this, this, is, this is more than a photograph. I mean, this is a statement about society. The pockets of light just pounding on those leaves and curling up the edges and then the bare naked branches left out, exposed, like the bones of our soul. God, I see what you did. I mean, this is, this is a statement about the human condition. I mean, there's pages, three, 300 page books written by Frederick Nietzsche and Hannah Arendt that that pound the exact emphasis of what she just did on that photograph. And we took it in in a second. Seriously, bravo. Bravo. Yeah. Wow. I hate to take it down, but I got to see the next one. I'm excited. Wow. Okay. Are you a professional photographer? No. Are you a ringer? Seriously? This is great. This is excellent. I mean, it's simple. It's bold. I mean, you made a choice. You followed through. You executed. Normally with a photograph, there's one or two things, being the professional I am, that I could suggest, but not here. Everything coheres. Wow. Excellent, excellent job. I mean, thank you so much. Have you ever done an exhibition or considered one? No. You should. You really should. You have, you have the chops. I could help you. Really? Absolutely. You know, I keep regular office hours. Just downstairs. Normally late night, six to nine. I like to hang out for a little bit. If you don't like sitting in a stuffy office though, I mean, my condominium's only about two blocks away. It's gorgeous. Glass wall overlooking the water. Do you like champagne? Yeah. I love champagne. What kind do you like? Um, I'm not sure. Do you like strawberries? Yeah. Fresh strawberries. I just got them. <clears throat> <clears throat> we'll talk. Okay. okay, who's next? Me. Arturo. Thank you. Arturo, let's see what you got. Do you want to set us up? No. Do you want to, you know, explain your intentions? Uh, no. Okay. Bold choice. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know about this one. I mean, I've, I've probably seen 10,000 close-ups just like this. It doesn't really say anything. And the focus is kind of soft. What, what lens did you use? Uh, 24 to 105 out. Okay. Next time, check your focus. Let's see the next one. Hmm. Okay. Where was this taken? Uh, over by the uh, airport. Uh, right. Uh, Across the main terminal, under the... Bar. Right, easy, we don't need to know all the details. <laughs> this guy. Do you know this couple? No. You don't know the subject matter in this photograph? No. A photograph like this, if you're really going to make the bold choice to do something like you tried to do, you really want to get to know your subject. You want to build a relationship with them. I mean, if you don't, it just kind of comes off voyeuristic a little bit. Hey, thank, thank you. you.
I'll see you later, right? A little fixin. <clears throat> um, yes, where were we? Voyeuristic, uh, plain. It's just you know it it falls flat. It's kind of it's like you're distant and and aloof. Oh, what were you intending to be distant and aloof? No. Oh, okay. So yeah. Yes. Um. It's okay. I mean, it's a good attempt. You know, you'll get there someday, but next time, you know, really build a relationship with what you're going to do, okay? You want to be an artist, you got to do the work. Can we see the next one? Okay, this is probably a good time for me to talk about the dangers of cliches. I've been teaching photography for 30 years, and if I had a nickel for every time I saw a puppy or a flower or some random girl jumping off a pier into the water, I mean, I would have retired 20 years ago, right? To be a professional photographer, you guys, you got to do something different, do something bold, right? You can't keep taking the same photos everyone else has taken. I mean, this is something I would see in the checkout counter at a Walmart on a postcard. It's a stock image, right? It's okay to laugh, it's funny. This is a Getty image. It's boring, ultimately it's boring. I'm bored. Hannah, you bored? Be honest, you want her to speak this. We're all a little bored, look. You tried, I mean, you're really trying. You know, and I want you to keep trying because you're gonna get there. But I will tell you this, I won't remember anything you showed today. Hannah, of course, we're all going to remember her work. Very good job to you, by the way. Ultimately, you need to move people. You know, you want to get behind the lens and be what we call a photographer. It's a duty. It's an honor. It's, it's a responsibility. So you got to move, okay? You got to move. You got to move your car. Arturo, huh? you got to move your car. You parked in the neighbor's driveway again. You know they're going to give you a ticket. I'm not doing it for you, you gotta get up.